The forgiving method of division is a different way of doing division than adults may have learned, but I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step a model of the process. Let's say you have a problem such as 235 divided by 4. And you may not know where to begin with that, so you can pick a number that you think might be close. And I know if I pick something like 100, it's going to be 400, so that be, will be way too much. But I might, might want to start with something with zeros, so I think I want to start with something like a 40. And I like using zeros because we have learned in class how to multiply by zeros, so I know that when I multiply 4 times 40, I'm going to place my zero here. And then using my multiplication table or my multiplication facts, I know that 4 times 4 is going to be 16. Now I want to make sure that this number here is less than the number I'm going to be subtracting it from, which in this case it is. So I may continue and the next step will be to subtract. So I'm going to subtract the 160 from 235 and there are different methods to use subtraction. In this particular example I'm going to use a method that we use in some students use in class using a box. And so there's two ways to do 5 take away 0. You might know that z if you take 0 away from any number it's going to be that number, but if you forget that then 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to count those tallies 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be 5. And here I'm going to check and make sure the smaller number, if the smaller on, number is on top, then I have to use something called OCC, which is regrouping for many of you. And what OCC stands for is 1, cross out, and change. And now I'm going to subtract 6 from 13. So I 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1 take away 1 will be 0, and I can put the 0 here, but I don't really need it, so I'm not going to put it there right now. Now, I can't use 40 again because I do want to make sure that the number that I put here when it multiplies times 4 is going to be less than this number and 160, as you can see, will be way too high. So I, again, still like to use my zeros, so I'm wondering if maybe I could try 10. So I'm going to multiply times 10. And f again, I'm going to put my zero here, and 4 times 1 is 4. And once again, I'm going to subtract. And I have 5 take away 0 again, and so that will still be 5. But if needed, I can still use my box over here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that will be 5. And then 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's 3. Now, again, 40 will be too high for 35, so I have to pick another number, and I know my 5's, so I'm going to try a 5. And so 4 times 5 is going to be 20. Again, using my multiplication table or my multiplication facts. And Again, 5 take away 0 is still going to be 5. And 2, 3, and that's going to be 1. Now, how do I know if I need to keep going or if I'm done? What I look for is that this number here is lower than this number. And in this case, it's a f you need the number to be lower than a 4. So anything that is 4 or higher means I have to keep going. And so 15 is definitely higher than this 4, and so I need to keep going. Um, 
I'm going to this time try a 5 again. And I'm going to show you this because I want you to see that sometimes you can, you know, have a number too high and need to try again. So fi 4 times 5 is going to be 20. Uh-oh, 20 is bigger than this 15, so I can't use that, so I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to erase my 5. I need to try something smaller. So this time I'm going to try maybe a 3. And 3 times 4 is going to be 12. And once again I subtract. And 2, 3, 4, 5. And now as you see, my answer is less than this number up here. And so that means this will be what I have left over. This is my remainder. Obviously, if it's 0, then I have no remainder. The next thing I need to do is add these numbers here to get my final answer. And what I have to do is make sure that my 1's are in the 1's place and my 10's are in the 1's place. If I'm not sure, my let me say that again. My 1's are in my 1's place and my 10's are in my 10's place. If I'm not sure, I can just add them separately. So I have to make sure I put them in the right place. This is my 1's place. Another way to remember that is if you're right-handed, use your right hand to come this way and always have your numbers come from here. So 10 and then 5. I need to start here so the 5 goes right there. And then we have a 3 and the 3 needs to go here. And now I'm going to add these numbers. 5 plus 3 is 8 and 4 plus 1 is 5. So my answer is going to be 58 remainder 3 and I'm going to write that up here. And remainder means whatever's left over. You could also write it here and then circle it if you wish. Um, either way is okay. And that is how you use the forgiving method of division.